Upon arrival in the picturesque Cullingore Lawn Cemetery, a striking sight attracts attention. A row of 10 plants recently subjected to radical pruning during the most damaging season of the year, standing silently behind the Australian flag. At first glance, the caretakers of this community space may disregard the history of white settlement in the area. However, there's a more profound interpretation to consider, one that contributes to the truth-telling of past massacres and the unresolved wounds of our shared history. Could this deliberate act of neglect be a powerful reminder of the need for reconciliation and healing? Perhaps it symbolises the unresolved trauma buried beneath the land's surface waiting to be acknowledged and addressed. In my social art inquiry journey, I dedicated three hours to tenderly tending to these wounded plants. Despite the scorching afternoon sun, I delicately wrapped each injured stem with a sheet of tracing paper, contemplating the ritualistic significance of this act. Was it an expression of nurturing, a plea for survival, or a silent cry for help? Cullingorlawn Cemetery stands out as one of the most environmentally unsustainable burial grounds within the Sunshine Coast Regional Council's network. Yet amid its contradictions, it's a unique canvas for reflection and contemplation. As my exploration continues, I've realised that genuinely connecting with a place requires more than just observation. It demands silence, receptiveness and an openness to the stories whispered by the land itself. It's a meditative journey that leaves an indelible mark on the physical landscape and the depths of the soul. Join me as we delve deeper into this transformative experience where every leaf, every blade of grass carries the weight of history and the promise of healing. Together, let's uncover the hidden truths woven into the fabric of this sacred space and discover the profound connections that bind us to the land and each other.